Okay, so let's discuss about the usage of the memory map by using the JS experience application. So first we of course connect Siren and here we are. So by showing memory map we can do in two ways or we use a view menu or we use the fast button in the action bar. What we have here is um, a memory map of the Apple IIGS memory, so fast memory, slow memory, ROM. We are currently using uh, ROM 03, so this is why we have four banks of ROM and of course the dock memory. Usually when we start to use a memory map, the first thing we do is a reset to erase everything we have before. The first thing you notice is two levels of gray, uh, light gray and medium gray. Light gray means, okay, in this part of memory, I have about nothing, only zero. If I have some medium gray, some, there is something in memory. One pixel of the, on the screen equal eight bytes in memory. So in this part, when I'm moving the mouse, I can see the address of the memory and also the content of the eight byte. Moving the mouse on the light gray means zero everywhere. Moving the mouse on medium gray, show me of course a data value. What you have also here is the list of all memory location allocated by some of the application. So when I'm moving uh, on the banks dynamically, you can see which applications has uh, allocated uh, the memory. What we can do also, we can select one application. So let's take JS Experience, which is the one running currently. And as soon as I select the application, all the memory location allocated by the application goes in uh, dark gray. Uh, so it's easy to see how many uh, location of memory the application has allocated. And the very dark one is the one I have selected here. So if I pick up this one, uh, it was going to probably select uh, this one also. At any time, of course, I can make a reset. But for the moment, let's once again take JS Experience because it's the one we are um, running currently. Uh, as soon as I start the application again, you will see that uh, we receive colors in some part uh, of the memory part, of the memory map. Of course, colors mean uh, action. So in uh, blue we have code execution. In red we have writes in memory. Uh, green would be read, we don't see that much, and um, yellow means read and write. Of course, this is uh, the memory page uh, in using the shadowing. We can see that the top of the screen, so probably the scrolling parts, uh, use read and write because it's moving things. The Z in the middle takes only writes, and the lower part, which is the scrolling here, uh, receive read and writes. What we see here is most of, so once again, let's make a, a reset. When I'm running it, uh, you can see that the Z running is purely uh, code execution because it's only uh, blue. You, the, the memory map information are updated in real time. Okay, So as soon as I'm receiving my operation data, we uh, have an update um, on the file. Now, if I'm moving my mouse on the top of the color, not only you have the value, but you have also here uh, the type of uh, action. X mean execution. If I go in the green part, that will be red. Okay, and if I go back here, you see, of course, uh, writes, uh, which is what the color means. We can see some run in the code part uh, of, of, of the ROM. Okay, so memory map is pretty handy to understand what the software is doing. So here, what we understand is the Z is purely hard coded code. It's not data we put on the screen, it's code execution directly made here. What we also have is a capability to save uh, the data. So uh, memory map file uh, will be put on the uh, on the file. And if we get hit and uh, find uh, what we have inside. So what we get here is um, the list of all uh, memory locations. So fast RAM uh, up to 
uh, at the end we'll have the ROM part uh, okay FE is the ROM and at the end the doc uh, memory so basically it's a file containing all the memory uh, data we have here and in the in the right part you have the action taking place uh, read write execute on every byte of course uh, if you reset and save it again uh, you won't have anything inside because everything will be put uh, to uh, nothing okay it's purely empty now if i run it uh, one vbl per one vbl for example now i save it again and so in this case i will have the list of all uh, interaction with the memory in terms of uh, write read uh, and so on okay so that's pretty convenient if we want to understand if your program is doing some write or read in locations that should not uh, do it okay so here for example we can see that all execution read and write are inside the memory location allocated by the uh, the current application if i had some write outside of my memory memory space it could be a big issue 